Amen. Welcome to Ministry Minute, as I would say on Ministry Minute. This is the Ministry Minute special. Praise the Lord. Amen. Time for church. And I'm back behind this sacred desk for the first time in three years. Amen. Let's praise God for that. And I'm not alone today. No, I'm not alone. I got somebody with me on today. Let's give it up for the one I call Bishop. <laughs> He's not going to like that, but I'm going to do it anyway. Anthony Green, amen. Praise the Lord for him. Amen. Yeah, they come in. Let's let's see what the Lord do. Amen. Amen. Welcome, Bishop. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> thank you, thank you. My apologies, my apologies. Yeah, so you're here on Ministry Minute, the church edition, I'll say. And so would you like to lead us in prayer? Uh, <laughs> sure, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Um, bow your heads. Lord, we just come to you. We come to you as servants, as children of you, Lord. We thank you day by day, minute by minute for the wonders that you do, the things that you do for us, Lord, just being by our side, just being a hand to hold on to through times of trouble, through times of greatness, through, through any time. Lord, you're right there. We praise you. We love you. And rebuke these difficulties ain't nothing but the devil. It ain't nothing but the devil. Nah. Well, amen. If you finish that prayer, amen. Did you did you did you hear it? How how far I did it? hear, I did hear it. I did hear it. Okay, okay. Amen. Thank God. <sighs> For the first time back in three years behind this sacred desk. Okay. I guess I should yes. get into the word. Amen. Yeah, absolutely. Let's get into it. Let's hop into it, Josh. Okay, so we're going to Isaiah. 43, 18 through 20. I don't have my Bible with me. Some, something told me to bring my Bible with me. Well, that's all something right. Something told me. It's all right. We got it on the screen. Go ahead. Do you, yes, sir. Amen. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and the rivers in the desert. The beasts of the field shall honor me, the dragons and the owls, because I give the waters in the wilderness and the rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen. Now, Job 1, 21, and said, naked I came out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And that was the reading of God's word. Amen. 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 So my topic for today will be when is enough enough? When is enough enough? All this stuff is going on in this world, not just in the United States, which has happened to be the best country in the world as we like to think, but all over, a pandemic, sickness, disease, famine, all this stuff is going on in the world. God is saying, when is enough enough? Preach. Preach. There are things going on in this world, tests and trials, but we keep failing time after time. We are so caught up in living our own ways. We don't want to make time for God. God is trying to call us back to him, but we are so blind and we don't listen and we don't do what God is calling us to do. We live our own ways. And God is saying, when is enough enough? He has stopped our activities. He has stopped our work, our school. Everything that's going on, God has it under control. 
Some may be scared. Some may be worried. It's nothing but the work of the Lord. Nothing but the work of the Lord. He is trying to humble us and to draw us closer to him. He's trying to humble us and draw us closer to him. It is time for a new thing in this world. Time for us to come away and to step aside from our sinful activities. We have to stop our routines and turn back to God, praying and fasting and seeking the face of God like we should. We don't want to do the things God is telling us to do, but God is calling us back to holiness. And that is what we have to do. It's holiness or hell, as my pastor would say. And most of us are on our way there. But thank God for his grace and his mercy that has picked us up and turned us around. And because of that, God will put us on a new path. Now, I'm going to shut up for just a second. I'm going to let Anthony say a few things about the scripture, and I will put it back on here. Amen. Amen. Um, just as Josh was saying, it's either, it's either holiness or hell. There's no in-between. There's no lukewarm. Um, you're either a servant of the Lord or a servant of the devil. Um, Amen. Preach. You, you, you either abide by the Lord and you go to heaven or it's the other way around. There's no in-between. There, You can't stay on this earth forever. So you live in the flesh now. And however you decide to live in the flesh and who you abide by is wherever that soul goes. Um, as God is saying in the scripture, remember, yea, not the former things, neither consider the, old, the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? It will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The beasts of the field shall honor me, the dragons and the owls, because the dragons and the owls, because I gave waters in the wilderness and the rivers in the desert to give to drink my people, my chosen. So God is saying, God is basically saying, people who follow him, he will he will basically gift things. He will he will he will bless people. He will give um, blessings to his chosen, to his to the people that follow him. Um, Job one twenty one and said, "Naked came out of my out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither." Thither, I'm I'm sure it says, "The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away." The Lord, the Lord gives, and the Lord shall take away. Yes, um, that all depends on how how you you endure your faith and strengthen it. The Lord will take away if you do not abide, but the Lord will also bless you. He blesses all of His children. Um, yes, your your love your love for the Lord it's is it, you can't strengthen it and you can't deplete it, but the Lord will punish you if you come off track. Yes. Um, your love with the Lord is forever, but the Lord will never say he won't love you after you say he loves you, but he will, he will punish you. Amen. 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 I'm just going to add on to what Anthony said. When you look at Job, the story of Job, it, it begins with a test from God. Satan went up to heaven and God asked him about his servant, Job. Job was a servant. He was very wealthy. He had a lot of things. And he asked Satan, how do you see his servant, Job? And Satan said, if you take away all his material beings, he will curse you to your face. So God allowed Satan to test Job. He took away his family. He took away his possessions. And he was left with nothing. But the thing is, most of us would lose everything we have and turn away from God. But what Job did, he continued to seek God. That's why he said that in that scripture, the Lord gave him, the Lord have taken away. He had so much, but God took it away. 
people who were around him thought that he was a sinner. They thought that he was doing wrong. But he did nothing wrong. God was just testing his faith. God will not just take things away from you all the time just because he did something wrong. You can be doing good, he'll take it away. God is trying to test our faith. He is he saying, is when is enough enough? We live so much in our ways. He is testing us. Will you Amen. give up your lifestyle for him? Will you give up your way of living for him? Will you give up everything that you love so much for him? I mean, there's been many times in the Bible where they've talked about people losing things or almost losing things in a test of faith. God is testing our faith during this moment, during this season, and we have to pass this test. God, Jesus is soon to come. He is very soon to come, closer than we ever have been before. And we have ever been before. Jesus is soon to come. We have to be ready. God is testing us. He is warning us. When is enough enough of your lifestyle? It is time to turn back to the holy ways of God and to come back to seeking his face diligently and doing what he has called us to do. We keep denying the call. We have to answer the call. Amen. We have to answer the call. We can't just sit around and do nothing. Or there are souls who need to be saved. Where there are people whose lives need to be changed. We have to get out into the world and we have to win souls for the Lord Jesus Christ. When is enough enough of everything that you're doing? When is enough enough of everything that you're living by what are your found what is your foundation what are you standing on are you standing on jesus the solid rock are you living in the ways of the enemy what ways are you living what ways are you going we need to turn back to the ways of god and we have to seek his face amen amen now, something that you said, the things of the flesh and this life will pass, but your soul is with the Lord for eternity. As long as we live right, as long as we live holy, we will have eternal life of Jesus Christ. It's a promise that he made. If you give your life to him, if you surrender all, get saved, being born again of the water and of the spirit, and living right, it's not just get being saved. You have to live right. You have to live holy. It's a requirement. Most people think it's not. They think they could go to the club on Monday through Saturday and come to Sunday and be like, hallelujah. No, 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 no. no you, you, can't we have to holy. you can't Amen. put God on them days that, that you need him. You got you to gotta seek God when you want to and when you don't want to. We have to get back before God. We have to. We have to do what God has called us to do. Not what this world wants. Not what people want. We have to get back to the things that God wants us to do. We have to. We have to. We have to. We have to. We have to stop our, we have to stop our activities. We have to stop our way of living. We have to live for him. We have to come out of every other way, every other way, and come back to God. We can't do everything that the world wants us to do. We can't do everything that people want us to do. We have to do what God is calling us to do. We have to do what God is calling us to do. What God is calling us to do. We can't continue to live in the ways of the flesh. We have to walk in the ways of the spirit. Amen? Amen. Yeah. Anything you want to add to that, Anthony? Um, God has a purpose for all of us. Um, yes, he does. Um, can't live in the way that you want to if you're a Christian. If you vow to be a Christian, then you should honestly, the Bible is the blueprint, and all you have to do is execute. So, Amen. 
That's a whole story so, of itself right there. Nah. <laughs> Executing the plan. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. So Amen. it's just um it's just it's up to you, but at the same time you're not in it alone. God is right there with you. And that's yes, that's is. another reason why um expanding your faith, um talking to God, all of that, that all goes into one. God God wants you to be an upstanding citizen. He wants you to be humble. Yes, he does. Amen. All things are through Christ. And God God will test you, but he tests you because he loves you. So, yes, he does. Yes, and you may, you, may, you may fall short, but uh, it's time, it's, then it's time to repent. And yes. it's time to um ask for forgiveness. Yes, yes, it is. Amen. yes, we have to repent. Repenting is very necessary. God will bless his chosen ones. Yes, he will. If they do right by him. By him. Yes, sir. If they do right, God will bless his people. Not saying that you won't go through hard times. Not saying that you won't go through tests and trials. But God will bring you through. He will take care of you. He will bring you through every situation. If you just call him, if you just trust him, if you just believe him, God will make a way for you. I don't know who you may be out there. God will make a way for you. Just trust him. Just call him. Just believe him. He will make a way for you. We just got to get back to his ways. We have to surrender all. We have to turn back to him, not back to the ways we used to live. We have to turn back to him. We have to come back to him. Amen. Amen. We have to come back to God. It made me want to really preach in here. We have to hey. come back. <laughs> To the ways of God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. And as Romans 10, 9 says, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Give your life to Jesus. If you want that situation to be over. If you want that test to be over, if you want to come out on top, if you want to have the victory, come back to God. He is your exit ticket out of that situation. Not that you won't go through, but he's the one that will lead you through. As I would say, he is our navigation through life. We are that vehicle. You trust your navigation systems in your car, but do you trust God to navigate you through life? Do you trust him to navigate you to the next level? Do you trust him to take you to the next place that he wants you to be? We have to give up our way to come back to his way. That's what we have to do. It's a sacrifice, but we have to do it for God. We have to do it. We have to do it. We have to do it for God. We have to come back to his ways. We have to come back. To the ways of God. We have to come back to the ways of God. Yes, sir. Absolutely. God will take care of you even though you may not know what to do god will take care of you yes, sir. turn back to him seek his face turn back turn back turn it's the season yes, of sir. turning back it's the season of turning back god yes, is sir. ready God is ready for you. Amen. We have to come back to his ways. We have to come back 
to his ways. We can't go back to what the world wants. We have to come back. We have to come back. We got to come back to him. Oh, the Holy Ghost want to move in here. Oh, oh my goodness, I'm getting old. I can't be doing that no more. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Take care of you. Even though you may not know what to do, God will make a way. He'll make a way for you. I don't care what you may be going through. I don't care what the situation may be. God will bring you through. Trust him. Trust him. Oh! <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Yes, sir. Praise God. Amen. Amen. But if we go back into the scripture, remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. We cannot keep focusing on the old things when God is trying to do a new thing in our life. We can't focus on the old things. Old things are passed away. When you got baptized, when you got saved, you buried the old man, you buried the old ways in the grave, in that water grave. And just like Jesus rose, you rose up from that water and you were supposed to be walking in a new way of life. A new creature is what you are supposed to be. You fall short. You turn away from the ways of God. But we got to come back. We have to repent. We have to seek God's faith in order to get to that place he wants us to be. We can't continue to live in the old ways. Remember not performing things. It's time to move on. It is time to move on up. Like the Jeffersons, it's time to move on up. Maybe yes, not to a US apartment in the sky, but it's time to move up. If you want to get the glory one day, oh, you need to move on up. We need to step up the pace, step up the way of living, step up the way of moving, and come back to the ways of God. If that's what to we To the need. ways of God. Yes, sir. It's not our ways that we need to come back to. It's his ways that we got to come back to. We got to come back to the ways of God. We got to come back to the ways of him. We have to come back to God. We got to come back to God. It's time to come back to that place, that sacred place that only he can put us in. It's time to come back to Jesus. It's time to come back to God. God wants to use you. He is saying, when is enough of your ways? When is enough of your time? It's time to make time for God. If God could spare time to send his only begotten son to this world to die for you, you should be on that cross, not Jesus. But he died for you. He died for you. And you can't give God time. Give God your time. Sacrifice for him. When is enough okay. enough of your period of time? When is enough enough of your activities? And it's time to come back to the ways of God. Amen. And it doesn't take that, that long to just give some time to God before Amen. you go you to food. Be when you wake five up. Hours. Yep. It's just here and there. A quick little conversation with the Lord. Not asking for anything, just thank him. Uh, just thank him, period. That's absolutely. Yes, we have to come back to appreciating the things that God has done for us. God has done so much, but we don't want to give him his time. And prayer is not supposed to be a one-way conversation. I don't know if you that person listen. back in the back of the auditorium did it here. Prayer is not a one-way conversation. It is not. We sometimes don't need to be sitting there doing all the talking. We have to listen to what listen. God is saying. Yes, Even sir. as I'm up here, what are you saying, Lord? Speak to me. I don't care where you are, where you may be. If God speaks to you, listen and obey. That's where we make so many mistakes. We Use me as a vessel, Lord. Yes, sir. 
We have to. We have to listen to what God is telling us to do. God is telling us to come back to him because the time is near for him to return. You don't want to be left behind, as I said on Minister Minute a few weeks ago. Oh, yeah. Don't forget. The rapture is soon to come. We are in the end times. We are in the end times. We have to come back to God before it is too late. If you listen to the ministry minutes, you know the tribulation is something to play around with. The judgment is nothing to play around with. We have to be ready. If your name is not in that book of life, my goodness, you will not be having eternal life with Jesus. And your name being in the book of life is not debated off of whether you're saved. It's not about whether you're saved or not being in the book of life. It's about what works you have done on this earth. We have to do the works that God wants us to do. If we want to have eternal life with him, we have to walk right. We have to live right. We got to do right before him. We can't just go back to the old way of living. We can't go back to the old way of thinking. We have to turn back to the ways that our grandmothers, that our grandfathers used to. We got a call on the name of Jesus, the name above every name. But Jesus is the name above all names, the name of power, the name of authority. Jesus, Jesus is above every other name, the name that still got power. He died. He was buried, and he rose again. What of a fake God rose from the dead with all power in his hands? Somebody give it up for Jesus. Somebody give it up for Jesus. I don't care where you are right now. Tell God thank you for every moment he's given you, for every bit of his grace, for every bit of his mercy. God has been so good. Don't get focused on the things of your life. Focus on the things of him. It's time to come back to the ways of Jesus. Back to the foundation. Back to the solid rock. He is the one that can bring you out. He's the one that can save your soul. He's the one that can deliver you. He's the one that can set you free. Do you trust him? You got to trust him. him. You got to trust him. Yes, you got to believe him. And he will be there for you. Absolutely. Hey, Josh. He will be there for you. And hey, Jayhawk. I got to go shortly. I have a, I have a word out soon. So. All right. Well, right. you won't have any closing words right now. Um, for you, um, I haven't. I wasn't really um familiar with the the Job. Mm -hmm. Um, trust me, you ain't the only. One. I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't familiar with Job in the Bible. In the Bible, but the way you described it. I can really relate to my life. Um, Joe, Joe, the way you described it is, is, is equivalent or it was really significant to me because it, it went with a lot of things that have happened to me in my life. So that's something I, I'm going to, I'm going to need to read on. I will read up on it because yes. um, it just, it just moved me. And, and you have to ask and, the Holy Spirit to lead you to that scripture. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's, that's, um, it could be confusing. It could be difficult to read, but the Holy Spirit will guide you through. Amen. Yes, sir. And my friend Jay Hop will also. <laughs> no, nah, I'm not perfect. We have all seen <laughs> fallen short of God's glory. We have. So, we have. Well, I am going to let you go. All right, Thank man. You take for it. your input. Yes, sir. Thank you for moving me. <laughs> sure. <laughs> all right, bro. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Let's give God some glory for him.
Amen. It is time to get back to the ways of God. If God isn't in your life, accept them today. God wants to do a work in you. God wants to come back into your life. Somebody give God the praise. Hallelujah. We got to give him the praise. We got to give him the glory. We have to give him the honor. We have to give him everything that he deserves. Amen. Let's go back to the scripture. Amen. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. We cannot continue to sit around and let our formal ways get into way of what God wants us to be in. We can't continue to live by the former ways when God is trying to do a new thing in us. God is trying to do a mighty work in us. We have to be ready for the work that he is calling us to do. God is calling us back to him. We got to do what he is calling us to do. We have to come back to holiness. We have to come back to righteousness. And we have to come back to him. Forget the things of the past. Forget the old ways you used to live. And come back to Jesus. For he is the only one that can bring you through. He is the only one that can bring you through. God will make a way. For you, just like he said, he would. God will. God will. God will. God will make a way for you. I don't care what you've been through. I don't care what the doctor may have said. I don't care what the lawyer may have said. God can turn it around. Time to come back to him during good times and bad. Time to come back to the ways of God. God is calling us. God is calling us. God is calling us. God is calling us back to him. We have to commit ourselves. We have to Commit our lives for him to the end. That end will be glorious for those who trust in him. If you trust him, if you believe him, be his sheep. Let him lead you. Give up control. Give up your livelihood. Give up the way you're living and come back come back come back come back to Jesus Jesus will be waiting on you with open arms with open arms with open arms with open arms God is waiting waiting on you to come back to him too if you love him do you really love him do you love him? Do you love him? Come back to him. God is calling out our ways. God is calling out our living. God is testing us right now. I don't care about coronavirus. It ain't got no power against my God. I don't care what the doctor may have said. That sickness has no power over my God. I don't care what they may have said. God will work it out for you if you just call them. That name got power. That name got power. He lives. He reigns. And he is God. It is not just about some title. It's not just about that position. It's not just about that way of living. It's about 
Jesus. And if you have Jesus, give him control. Surrender all. Are you really saved? Are you really set free? Are you really delivered? Or are you still living in the ways of this world? Are you still living in your old ways? Are you still living in that sinful way? God, we give it all to you. God, please come down and take care of us. Send your Holy Ghost. Send your Holy Ghost. Send the fire of the Holy Ghost down upon us. We need it. We need it. We need it. Open our eyes, Lord. Open our ears, Jesus, and bring us back to the ways of you. Bring us back to a new place. Bring us back to the foundation. Bring us back to the solid rock. Bring us back. Bring us back. Bring us back to you the way that only you can. Not calling on other false gods. Not calling on people. Not calling on the government. Not calling on the president. Not calling on that king. Not calling on that queen. Not calling on that minister. Not calling on that pastor. But calling on you. Your name, which is above every name. Bring us back to where we need to be. Jesus, bring us back to the new things that you have for us. Bring us back to the ways of you. Take the things away that are not pleasing to you. Time to change. It's time to change that lifestyle. It's time to change that routine. Live for God. Live for God. Walk for God. Do what he says. Do what he says. Do what he says. Do what God says to do. We got to come back to his ways. We got to come back to the lifestyle he wants us to live. It's not just about wearing some kind of cross. It's not about wearing some kind of chain. It's not about wearing this kind of suit. It's not about wearing this collar. It's not about looking all good. It ain't about the material things. It ain't about the building. It's about Jesus. It's about Jesus. It's about Jesus. The church needs to get back to the ways of him. The church is included too. The church has gotten away from the truth of God. The church is not preaching the gospel. The church is trying to preach what they want the people to hear. What the people want to hear. We got to get back to what God says. We got to get back to what God wants. It ain't about us no more. It ain't about us no more. Because if you want Jesus, you got to give up control. You got to give up power. You got to give up things. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? God will take care of you. God will work it out through and through. Like they said, it'll be better by and by. By and by. By and by. It's time to take us to the next level. Like John P. Key said, next level. It's time to go to the next level. God's trying to take you to that new thing. He's trying to take you to that next level. Will you get back to his way? We have to repent. We have to seek his face. We got to pray. We got to get in that word. It's not just about saying it. It's not just about posting on social media. It's about getting back to the ways of God. Living for him behind closed doors and even out in the open. We can't just act like we can know God. We got to act and do. We got to not just act, but we got to live it. We got to practice what we preach. 
preachers, bishops, pastors, everybody get back to the ways of God. People, kids, adults, singers, I don't care who you are. I don't care what you've been through. We got to get back to the ways of Jesus. If you want to get back to him, if you want to get back to the ways, the ways of my father, it's not about this. It's not about this. It's not about all this. Leaders, you are a leader, not a follower. The only follower that you should be is a follower of Jesus. Don't follow after man. Don't follow after things. Follow after God. God is saying, when is enough? Enough. It's time to come back to the ways of Jesus. It's time to come back to the holy ways of our Father. It's time to come back to Jesus' ways. It's time to come back to the holy ways. It's time to come back to the righteous ways. Jesus, save us, God. Jesus, deliver us. Draw us out of our own ways, up out of our sin, up out of our deceit, up out of our lifestyles. I don't care what you're used to doing. I don't care what you've been doing. God is about to do a change. God's about to do a change. Change. God's about to do a change. I know I can't sing, but they said it will get better. I'm so much better. But that's only coming with Jesus. It's only coming with the help of my Savior. It's only coming when you come back to him. It's only coming when you turn back to the ways of him. Get in the word. Get in prayer. Get in fasting. Seek him. Seek him. Turn back to him. Turn from your wicked ways. Turn from your unholy ways. And let's come back. It's time to come back to God. And now as I'm getting ready to close on today, like I said, God gives us tests and trials. He has stopped the way of our living, our activities with this coronavirus stuff. God is trying to humble us. He is trying to draw us back to him. He is trying to draw us closer to him. It is not about us. It is not about us anymore. It is about the Lord. We have to come back to the ways of God. God is calling us to come back to him. We have to do a new thing. It's time for a new thing. God is ready to do a new thing in our lives. God is ready to do a new thing in your life, in your life, and even your life. God is ready to work in us. He is trying to prepare us for his return. We cannot live in the unholy ways no more. We cannot live in the unrighteous ways no more. We have to live holy. We have to live righteous. And we have to come back to God. Amen. Remember not the former things. Behold, I will do a new thing. It shall spring forth. My the Lord gives and the Lord takes away during the good times and the bad. Whether you sin or not, the Lord can take away that stuff. Be appreciative of the things you have. Be grateful. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive me. Forgive us all for not being grateful. We take things so for granted. Appreciate those things, but don't make those things your God. The end of the story of Job even though he had his stuff taken away, even though things happened to him, even though sickness came upon him, great sickness and pain and agony came upon him, he continued to seek God. And at the end of it, he passed that test. A lot of us don't pass our tests. 
But Job passed his test. And he restored everything that he had and got twice as much as he had before. God, even though he takes away sometimes, that taking away, that storm, that test and trial is just preparing you for what's ahead, that greater thing that is coming. God has a plan. He knows everything from the coronavirus to that sickness, that disease, that problem in your life, that family situation, that marriage issue, that relationship issue, that thing that you may have going with your friend that may have drawn y'all apart, that thing that may be going on at that job, at that workplace, at that schoolhouse, whatever it may be, God knows it, and he has a plan, and he will work it out if you just trust him. Do you surrender all to Jesus today? If you shall confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has risen from the dead, you shall be saved. The point of salvation is on the Minister Minute Instagram page, and that is at Minister Minute, if you want to give your life to Jesus Christ. Saints, and even the ones who are sinners, we all of all sinners fallen short of the glory of God. This is no place for judgment, and it's no place for hate. It is time, no matter what your lifestyle may have been before, no matter what way you walked before, it's time to come back to the ways of God. It's time to come back to holiness. It's time to come back to righteousness. God is calling us to come back to him. Lord, you know everybody who is looking at this right now. As you have spoken through me, Lord, I pray that you speak to them. No matter what their situation may be, no matter what their test and trial may be, work it out for them, Lord. Work it out for them. Just allow them, God, to do what you call them to do to come back to holiness, to come back to righteousness, and to come back to you. Give them guidance, Lord. Give them wisdom. Draw us all closer to you and to that intimate, personal relationship with you that we need. Help us, God, to be ready for your return. Help us to live holy. Help us to live righteous. Help us to live for you, God, and not for the things of this world. And we ask this in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I thank you all for tuning in on today. I thank again my co-host, Anthony, who was with me earlier. Now, I want to thank all of you again for tuning in. God wants to do a new thing in your life. Forget the former things. Turn away from that sinful life. And it's time to come back to God. Thank you, and God bless. Thank you. Bless all of you. Jesus loves you. Give your life to him today. God bless you.